Song, 89. Miss Chill, Miss Chill, an instruction of Ethan the Ezraite. First Kings 4. Now we got a long song here, but First Kings 4, let's look at who we're looking at here. First Kings chapter 4. So he's mentioned in the Bible. First Kings 4, verse 31. Talking about Solomon. He was, Solomon was wiser than all men, than Ethan the Azurite. There he is. And he meant, that may be the one from last night. So the Bible records this man as being wise. Solomon more wiser. And you're not going to find, very rarely you're going to find a wise person in this day and age. It's going to speak the wellness and greatness of God, as this man does. 52 verses. And a wise man, the Bible says, <clears throat> he says, I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. Well, the wise man says, God is mercy. With my mouth, Will I make known thy faithfulness? And that's going to be the key word throughout this psalm. Faithfulness to all generations. So this wise man is saying, listen, I'm going to give God the glory. I'm going to sing. I'm going to make known. I'm going to testify. I'm going to witness to every generation comes up about God. How's the wise men doing today? And previous ages. What about all the wise, let's see, I'm 51 years old. I was I was born in 1968. What about the wise men in my time, 668? Have they praised and glorified God? For I, this is Ethan, I have said, mercy shall be built up forever. Thy faithfulness again, Shalt thou establish in the very heaven. So God's not only faithful in, in earth and in heaven. He's faithful everywhere he's been and everywhere he's created. What he said, Throughout his creation, God's faithful. Faithfulness means truth. Reliable. Without fault. You can rely on somebody's faithfulness. You can rely on God. You can't rely on me. I may say, well, I'll be there Friday a certain amount of time. It's, something may interfere with that. That's why a, a Christian should say, Lord willing. I, God speaking, have made a covenant with my chosen. I have sworn unto David my servant. Wouldn't that be great if God could say to you about you that you're his servant? Christians that will that have done well will hear well done. Thy seed, David's seed, will I, God, establish forever. And that throne of David goes to the Lord Jesus Christ in the millennium. David himself will be there as the prince and build up thy throne. Again, that throne is Jesus' throne. To all generations, Selah, second advent, Jesus coming and taking the throne of David. That is what Gabriel told Mary about her son that is in her womb. And the heavens, there are three of them, Shall praise thy wonders. I mean the creation of God's a wonder. O Lord thy faithfulness again. Also in the congregation of saints. You know what the congregation of saints supposed to be? We're supposed to be praising the wonders of God. How's the modern church in the world today? What are they praising? For who is, 
for, excuse me, for who in the heaven can be compared unto the Lord? No one. Now, Satan tries to, but he's no comparison. Who among the sons of the mighty can be likened unto the Lord? What man is like God? And mighty, if you talk about God, what other gods are like God? None. <clears throat> Here we go. God is greatly to be feared in the assembly of the saints. Now, if you're a Roman Catholic, a saint is someone who's already died and had been exonerated by the Pope. That's a bunch of garbage. I'm a saint and I'm living. I don't think I'm a ghost and you're seeing me in my ghostly powers. So, wherever saints are, those that are saved, those that are children of God, we are to fear God. How's that doing the modern? Let me ask you, in the modern May 2020, you fear God. I mean, your church buildings are closed because of coronavirus. Who do you fear more, coronavirus or God? Well, we may get coronavirus if we open up. Then you feel, then you fear core virus and you don't trust the faithfulness of God. I mean, I've been to stores, I've been out, I've been around. God's protecting me and my, and my family. The fact is that you closed your churches during a crisis and listened to the government more than you listened to God. They told Peter and John, we don't want you preaching the name of Jesus. Well, we ought to obey God more than we obey man. Your laws have gone against God. What should the churches say in America, free America? We are not to forsake the assembly of ourselves. You do what you have to do, but we're going to do what God commands us to do. We're going to meet together and we're going to serve God together. And if you persecute us, According to the scriptures, one day Jesus is going to say, why did you persecute me? And to be had in reverence of all them that are about him. The angels, the cherubim, the four and twenty-four elders. All those that will be before God. Notice that word reverence. Who are we to reverence? God. So what do you do when you go to a church you got the reverend so-and-so? Who are you reverencing then? You're reverencing a man. Reverend belongs to no title of a man. And yet they've stolen that from God. O Lord God of hosts, of all the fiends, who is, strong, who is a strong Lord like unto thee? None. Because even the devil who is a God is going to fall before the Lord one day. And God doesn't even kick the devil out of heaven. Michael and his angels do. The devil was a cherub. Cherubim. One of the five of the cherubim. Now four. Michael, the only archangel in the Bible listed as an archangel. And his army, not God, gives, gives Michael the command, all right, go get rid of the devil. Now, is that not a downplay for the devil, Satan? That God's kicking out of my heaven? Michael, got a job for you. Yeah, remember me, devil? Remember that time with Moses and his body? <laughs> Let's war. And the Bible says in Revelation uh, 12, there's war in heaven. Now, remember Revelation 12, because we're going to come to that in a moment again. Uh, who's strong? Like I said, to thy faithfulness round about thee. Now, verse 8, what's that, what does that say? It says, Lord. It says, God. It says, Lord. Let's attack the Jehovah Witnesses, shall we? Thou ruest the raging of the sea. When the waves thereof arise, thou stillest them. Well, who did that in Matthew 8, 26? O Lord God of hosts, Lord, verse 8, 9, Jesus Christ. There it is. 
There it is. Jesus Christ is the Lord God. Thou hast broken Rahab. Let's go back to chapter 88 just real quick. Now, Revelation 8 said, Heman to Ezra. Now, he may be the other one that we looked at in King. Now, he mentioned uh, Rahab. Where is it? Oh, 18. Oh, where was it? Well, Rah Rahab, we mentioned the other night. That's Egypt. Thou hast broken Rahab in pieces. As one that is slain, thou hast scattered thy enemies with the strong arm. The enemies of God will not overthrow God. God will overthrow them. That's a mighty powerful God. And God has many enemies. The heavens are thine. I thought the space agencies of the world today claim it to be. We have traveled to Mars. We have gone to we've gone to where no man's gone before. And that, that's God. You'll never go where man has never been. Where God has been. The earth also is thine. As for the world, see the world and the earth are two different beings. The earth is the planet. The world are the people. And the fullness thereof, thou hast founded them. God made the world. God made the earth. The north and south, thou hast created them. God the creator. Not evolution. Tabor and Heman, those are mountains, shall rejoice in thy name. So it's not, it's not Darwinism, it's not the Big Bangism. Justice and judgment are in the habitation of thy throne. Mercy and truth shall go before thy face. <coughs> Blessed is the people that know the joyful sound. They shall walk, O Lord, in the light of thy countenance. And the countenance is the facial expression, the likeness of happiness and joy and peace in thy name shall they rejoice all the day and in thy righteousness shall they be exalted now look what he's saying god is faithful god is righteous god is holy god is true this is a wise man not what i said but the holy spirit said back in second uh, first kings 431 This wise man is saying, look at all the power. And this wise man is saying, God created it. He didn't say Big Bang. This man wouldn't get any diplomas from the world. This man wouldn't get press time. Because he glorifies God. You know what God said? I'll put his, right in the middle of Psalms, I'll give him a page. And my, almost not a page. Uh, except for 12 verses. I almost got a whole page of this gentleman, this wise man, writing about God. For the Lord is our defense. I thought we had missiles, armies, military. So we got kings and king, queens and primaries and uh, presidents. And the Lord is not our defense today with coronavirus. I'd laugh with a joke if you if you try to say God would. It's not. They're still right now trying to manufacture uh, drugs and, and ailments for the virus and not turn to God yet. And the Holy One of Israel, oh, there's God. That, okay, there it goes. Ain't the God of Ishmael. Ain't the God of America. Ain't the God of Chinese. The Holy One of Israel is our king. That thou spakest in vision to the Holy One. Now notice 18 says capital H, capital O. 19 is small h, small o. According to Luke 170, Acts 321, and other places in the Bible, those holy ones are the prophets, the apostles. Those have given us the scripture, those that are inspired by God to write and give us the scripture. 
and says, I have laid help upon one that is mighty. The guy is mighty. He needs God's help. I have exalted one chosen out of the people. David. I have found David, my servant. My holy oil have I anointed him. David's called a holy one. And yet David's not mentioned in the public school. In the art world, in the art world, taunts David with that statue of a half-naked man with no arms. With whom my hand, God, shall be established, my arm also shall strengthen him, David. The enemy shall not excel upon him, David. And the son of wickedness afflict him. The son of wickedness? The son of wickedness? That's a title. We got the wicked one. And the wicked one has a son. I will, God, beat down his foes, David's foes, before his face. And plague them that hate him. Genesis 12, 3. I will curse them that curse you. But my God's faithfulness, there is again. And my mercy shall be with him, David. And in my name shall his horn strength be exalted. And he was exalted the king. I, God, will set my hand also in the sea, and the, his, his right hand, David's right hand, in the rivers. He shall cry unto me, and he does many songs. Thou art my father, my God, the rock of my salvation. And Paul says that rock is Jesus Christ. David says, my God. Paul says, Jesus. Tell the Jehovah Witnesses go, go in the kitty yards, go play in the, go play in the playground. They don't know nothing. I will God make him my firstborn, higher than the kings of the earth. Well, we just read that this is written by Ethan the Ezraite in First Kings chapter four. We read that Solomon, the son of David, had more wisdom than this guy. And look at the remarkable things that this gentleman is writing about God and David. My mercy will I keep for him and evermore. David's going to sit right there with Jesus one day. My covenant shall stand fast with him, David. <clears throat> His seed, all the king's seed, they're mentioned, will I make to endure forever. And his throne as the days of heaven, eternally. That throne of, of David doesn't end with the Babylonian captivity. And it's not going to end at the millennium. When the millennium ends. I'm going to say, I, I know Jesus Christ. He's got a throne with God the Father and God the Son and God the Holy Spirit in New Jerusalem. But I say that the new earth goes to the land of Israel and quite possibly David's going to have that throne in the new earth and he's going to be reigning. And the next higher one over David will be the Lord Jesus Christ himself. Let's keep reading. If his children forsake my law, and they all did, David did too, and walk not in my judgment, and they all did. If they break my statutes. And they all did. And kept my, my commandments. And they all didn't. Then will I visit their transgression with a rod. And he does. And their iniquity with stripes. Have you been to Isaiah 53? Where did Jesus Christ. Forsake the law. Where did Jesus Christ not walk in judgment? 
Where did Jesus Christ break the statue? Where did Jesus Christ keep not to come in? He came, I didn't came to, to, to abolish, I came to fulfill the law. Pilate says, I find no fault in him. I find no fault in him. I find no fault in him. Herod says, he's innocent. The dying thief that repented said, hey, this guy didn't do nothing. And Isaiah 53 says that God chastised Jesus with stripes. As God would chastise a man. Nevertheless, my loving kindness. Look what he said. The rich, look what the wise men said about God. Will I not utterly take from him, nor suffer my faithfulness, this is a wise man to fail. My covenant will I not break nor alter the thing that is going out of my lips. So how can people say today that God's all finished with Israel? How can religions teach that God's done with them? He's angry with them. They're finished. They're done. They're, they're going to hell. And the church is the new Jerusalem. The church is the new Zion. The church is the promise. I'm going to tell you one day that Ethan, the, the Ezraite, is going to step up and he's going to rebuke these fools. Because he said, I wrote, by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, I, God is not ever finished and cannot ever be finished with Israel. Now watch what he says next. Once I have sworn by my holiness that I will not lie unto David. And when you say God is all finished with Israel, you make God a liar. Numbers 23, 19, 1 Samuel 15, 29, Titus 1, 2, Hebrews 6, 18 declares to us, God cannot, will not, is unable to lie. And when you say that God is all finished with Israel, you make him a liar. You know who Jesus said the liar is? The liar is the devil. John 8, 44. I would hate to be in your shoes. When you proclaim the Holy One of Israel is a liar because he no longer loves the children of Israel. Yes, he does. And it's all about Israel. God's going to curse you. Genesis 12, 3. Genesis 12, 3. I would not want to be in your shoes. His seed, David's seed, Israel. His seed... That's where the seed of, of Jesus Christ. When it came for taxation of the government, Joseph, the adopted father of Jesus, and Mary through her line in Luke chapter 3, can trace it to, to David. They run down to Bethlehem in the lineage of David, his father. His throne as the sun before me. You see that sun? Remember that sun in Revelation 12? It shall be established for ever, ever as the moon. Remember that moon in Revelation 12? Then ain't Mary. As a faithful witness in heaven. Boy, this guy who's really smart, not as smart as Solomon. This guy who's really smart says, God is faithful. I wonder if you were to get the top 10 brains of the world today. They're the know it all. They're the ones. I wonder what they would say about God. See that Selah? Second Advent. This is an instruction by Ethan. What's it to instruct? God is faithful. God's the creator. God loves Israel. But thou, God, has cast off and abhorred, extremely hated. Thou, God, has been wroth with thy anointed, David, and the line of David. Thou has made void the covenant of thy servant. 
Yeah. As soon as Babylon came, destroyed Jerusalem, there hasn't been a king sitting in Israel since. Thou hast profaned his crown by casting it to the ground. <coughs> That's why you needed the virgin birth of Mary. Oh, earth, 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 Jeremiah said, write this man childless. So, instead of a male seed, we got to have a virgin seed. There's no king in Israel today. They crucified him. And Pilate made sure this is Jesus, the king of the Jews. Thou hast broken down all his hedges. Thou hast brought his strongholds to ruin. Jerusalem is in ruin and ruin today. The dumb of the rock is there today. But God ain't done with them. All that pass by the way spoil him. There are people today, you know, they're over there, they're just stealing from Israel. He is a reproach to his neighbors. Nobody around Israel likes him. They hate Israel. Thou hast set up the right hand of his adversaries. And that's what's going on today. Current affairs. Thou hast made all his enemies to rejoice. Babylon. Thou hast also turned the edge of his sword and has not made him to stand in battle. When Babylon came in three times, when Titus came in 70 AD, when the Antichrist came, out of Hitler, World War II, thou hast made his glory to cease and cast his throne down to the ground. There's no more king of David no more. It's Jesus Christ. The days of his youth has thou shortened. They don't live long. Thou hast covered him with shame. Selah. Uh oh, second advent. How long, Lord? Wilt thou hide thyself forever? Shall thy wrath burn like fire? Hide himself. Didn't say he vacates as he's hiding. Remember how short my time is. We're men. Time is a vapor. Wherefore hast thou made all men in vain? We're dirt. We're dust. We're scum. We're, we're thinner. What man is he that liveth and shall not see death? Enoch. Elijah. The Christians, when the Lord tarries, shall he deliver his soul from the hand of the grave? Thela. All the Old Testament saints. All the saints of, of Jesus Christ when he comes for the rapture. Lord, where are thy former, Lord, former loving kindness? He still loves them. Which thou swearest unto David thy... In thy truth, David has sinned. Remember, Lord, the reproach of thy servant. How I do bear in my bosom the reproaches of all the mighty people. It's because of sin, not because of God. Wherefore thy enemies have reproached, O Lord, wherewith they have approached the footsteps of thy anointed. Blessed be the Lord forever more amen and amen he already told us god ain't finished he's hiding from him he didn't say he was finished he said he's hiding 